All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all doing well. I know it's been a few weeks since I've uh, uploaded the last video, and you'll see on the last video, if you've already seen it, um, that I added nine chromus into the tank, and I'm pleased to report that we still have nine. So it's been, what, five weeks now or so that we've, uh, we've added them in, and uh, yeah, so far, so good. They all seem to be. Uh, they all seem to be there. But other than that, guys, everything seems to be going relatively okay. To be fair, um, I've had a few issues. Just had a few issues, really, um, and I really don't know. Don't know why. And the main thing is really my Pikachu. Is you, if you look back on a couple of my videos in the past, you see that how bright and colourful the Pikachu is. Um, for some reason. Over the past week or so, two weeks, it's just started to dull out again. Um, still alive, obviously, but um, yeah, it's just not as colourful as it as it has been over the past few weeks. The rest of the other coral, co corals are doing really good, really colourful and stuff like that. Um, and doing, like I said, uh, perfect. But yeah, this uh, Pikachu just started to, started to, to lose its colour. Um, now... Obviously, testing the tank, I tested the tank, everything has come back fine in terms of uh, in terms of the, the the elements and stuff like that. Over than um, calcium, for some strange reason, I've not adjusted the dosage, dosage in the calcium or anything like that. But the calcium come back, and it was reading around four seventy, which had, for some strange reason, I really don't have a clue on why it's gone gone that high. Um, like I said, I'm not dosed uh, any more of the um, coral essential stuff. I've just kept it the way it is. So there's been no changes to the tank. Um, and like I said, you can see everything is growing. It's uh, so I've not and I've not actually fragged anything. So usually when you um, obviously take frag things out of your system, the calcium um, will probably rise because you're taking stuff out. So say I've, say I've chopped quite a few of these uh, style of porter, some of this, and the Miyagi Tor and stuff, say. Say I had 30, 15, 30 decent sized frags and took all them out of the tank, then the calcium is not being took up. Hence the reason it will probably be rise and stuff like that. But I've not done anything like that. I've not even fragged anything in my tank um, for weeks, well, for months to be fair. Um, so there was no reason why that, uh, why that, for some strange reason, why it's uh, why it's risen. Um, so what I did was I adjusted the dosage, I moved it down, um, and stuff like that, and basically, uh, yeah, seeing whether seeing whether that helped. So I've had the dose; it it didn't help for a while. For, well, I say for about a week. So what I did was I stopped all dosing of the um, of the calcium. I just stopped the pump, um, and basically for the past week I've not had it on, so I've not had anything. Basically the um, the uh, oh God, what's the name of it now? I've forgotten. Um, the calquasa, calquasa, calquasa is dosing. You is doing the main dosing, so obviously the calcium um, and the alkalinity is being dosed in via that as well. So we are getting a bit of calcium. Uh, in the system but not from the corals essential stuff and i tested it um, yesterday and it had dropped to 420 so it had gone to 420 so it has dropped um so i don't know i'm going to leave it off for a couple more days before i switch it back on and then i'm going to switch it on see how we go monitor it and uh, see if it rises and stuff like that and then if it does then i'm just gonna have to reduce the dose even more than i already have done but very strange don't know if you guys know why why it could rise for some strange reason because like i said the corals are still growing um and stuff like that in the tank so it, i do find it i don't know puzzling to be fair but um yeah it is one of those things another thing is my fox face like i said guys i feed this tank pretty heavy now and if you look at the fox face the fox face a bit shy not definitely not camera camera uh focus but He's just all black still, still half black. Crazy, crazy. I mean, when I got a fox face, I have, and it's a bit of a chunk, as you can see. It's going around, feeding off everything, eats all the stuff, the meaty foods that I put in the tank. And yeah, he's loving, loving life here. 
for sure going around eating the bits of the algae off the uh, sand bed and stuff so really good workhorse in the system and yeah really love him um but another thing also is my bubble coddle my bubble coddle is started to lose not tons of color color but started to um yeah i really don't know it started to i mean as you can see it's absolutely massive but he started to lose a little bit of a uh, bit of colour. My missus actually said that. Um, I'm feeding it quite a bit, to be fair. Gave it a good few prawns the other week. Uh, last week, was it? Uh, can't remember the specific days, but there was two or three days in between. But I fed it. And just look at the size of the mouth on the thing. Absolutely ginormous. So I gave it a good prawn. And it's uh, munched on that. No wastage of that. Uh, but yes... Lost a little bit of colour. Now, as you know, I'm dosing the trace elements of the uh, Corals Essential stuff. I'm also dosing the grow and I'm also dosing the aminos as well. Now, I didn't know whether maybe the bit lack of colour is because of the aminos. Uh, you know, it's something different added to the tank. It might be in the grow because obviously if you change something in your system, sometimes it takes your corals a little bit of time to just adjust to it. I don't know whether that is that might be the case. I really don't know. I've only been dosing that for, like I said, what, past two and a half three weeks or so so maybe over time it might just uh, adjust but i'm not going to change anything just because of the pikachu i'm not going to panic or worry about anything because of because of the lack of color in that alone because as you can see everything else is just coloring up and everything else is just thriving so there's no real reason for me to change anything um, the issue i am having it's just basically this uh, Hollywood stunner that's just growing absolutely crazy and out of control. Now it's beginning to grow right up the back wall of there and it's going to be touching these zoas. So what I'm going to need to do is get some putter. I'm going to build, you know, some some of the uh, the uh, coral putter and I'm just going to smother it, basically kill it off. Um, and I'm thinking of just building like a ledge, you know, just packing it all in there. Um, and basically it's just so in, hopefully it'll grow underside of itself that's what i'm hoping because it's just uh it's just too big but one thing i'm considering um to be fair guys is i'm going to be i'm going to be probably taking this tank down in the new year i'm going to be fragging a lot of this stuff um and stuff like that uh, especially all the SPS, all of this, I reckon all of this section here, this top section here, will all be gone. This this, this lot will all be gone. Um, the things I will be keeping is obviously the clams, um, the chalice, uh, these two torches, this, uh, scholar, my bubble. And I think that'll probably be it, to be fair. The rest of it can go. Um, and basically my idea is going to be because I'm going to be doing the house up. I'm going to be decorating all the house. It's not been decorated for some time, so I mean, where, where, as you know, in when you when you have a system like this and it's thriving, the last thing you want to do is do some decorating. And like I said, I'm going to be painting all the walls, and I don't want even even if you put a cover over it and stuff like that, you switch the lights out. Remember, they can go days without lights. It's not going to be an issue. Um, but I don't want the fumes, you know, the paint and stuff like that. So, and to be fair, the tank is coming up to six years old in um, in February, I think it is. So it's going to be getting on. And I do worry about the seams in the tanks. Now, who's to say this tank might go on for another 10, five years, 10 years, God knows the seams might go on. I really don't have a clue. But I really don't want to... Uh, don't want to risk that just in case um, and stuff like that. Now we have two options, guys, of what I'm thinking of doing. I've spoke about it on the live streams before with the lads. One thing is to get a larger tank, a larger system, and build it up to here. Maybe a six foot. As you know, this is a four foot, 350. So maybe go six foot, but two foot, but two foot, maybe. That might be it. That might be one option. The only thing is that I'm going to have to get rid of this and maybe get a smaller unit because remember a lot of my stuff is housed in here and a lot of stuff is housed behind the back of it so that's an issue this is obviously if you live in a big house that won't have up that won't be a problem but with me living in like a terraced uh, a 1920s terraced house or whenever they were built obviously this is the main the main room and then we have the kitchen so obviously there's not much room to to, to negotiate and not much room to, to put things now behind that wall is the um like a an uh, an alcove like a i don't know what people call them like a cubby hole sort of thing behind there now one option was i was going to drill through the wall 
and use and, and put like all my um, ATOs and stuff like that, a big tank in the back there. It's not, it's not a big thing, but that's another thing is where a lot of my fish stuff is. I mean, when you have a fish tank, guys, as you all know, you, 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 you seem to just collect tons and tons and tons of, uh, of fish gear. Some gear you don't even want, some gear is spare, so, you know, and things like that. And it just becomes, like I said, a bit of a hassle and a bit of a problem to put things. But, you know, it is one of those things. It's just all about about having have, having a successful reef, I suppose. So, yeah, so that's one, that's one thing that I might go, one route that I might go. The second one, though, guys, is having it over here. Now, as you know, I'm going to be obviously decorating um, all of this and stuff like that. Now, what I'm thinking of doing is taking these shelves down um, and basically having a tank in there. Now, believe it or not, that gap, it would be able to fit this four-foot tank, um, which doesn't seem that way, but it definitely would do. At a push, at a push. So what I'm thinking of going is basically going a three-foot tank by three-foot by two-foot. So it's going to be three-foot um, long, by three foot high, by two foot deep. So, but basically having it all cab car all carpentry in there, in like a gloss grey uh, sort of thing. I'm going to be having it on a rather than a wooden stand. I will get a, a stainless steel stand or something like that, and having it basically built in. So when you're walking through the door, guys, you're walking through the door. And you'll see the tank, it'll just be all cased in there. And I'm thinking that'll be good. That way I could have a single chair just here. And then I could all and then my missus, which I think, to be honest, is what she wants, is we can have a, a, a nice sofa that goes along there. Do away with that. Have a nice sofa there. But then we also come back to the point of storing where we're gonna store all my stuff uh, in the new tank if it was over in the other section. So couple of options that I'm going with uh, it won't be obviously till till the new year till February till, not sorry February till April May or something like that I'm gonna probably gonna be going with um, obviously I'm gonna be taking the tank down I think probably February March it will be coming down then do the decoration um, and stuff and then whatever money I get from from this from this uh, coral and stuff will go towards the new tank that's my plan um, like I said, Red Sea, I've always loved Red Sea tanks um, and stuff like that, but I'll probably maybe go custom, um, to be fair, uh, like I said before. But you never know. I mean, I just don't have a clue yet. I'll uh, I'll come to that point. I'll cross that bridge when I, when I come to it. But let me know in the comments below what you think I should go with. Um, and yeah, what you think, what you, well, basically what your ideas would be, what you think I should do. Um, but before I go, I'll like, show you a quick look of the tank and like I said, the health of the corals, the corals are doing, are thriving. These little chromas are settled in perfect. Now they're doing their little, uh, their little thing going about. And yeah, we're gonna be getting rid of some of these, uh, this uh, Stylopora and Ceratopia and this huge, yeah, it's just an absolute monstrosity of, uh, of uh, my guitar front and the back. Then we have the great Balagonese Slimer. We have all these Zoas and then Pikachu. And then we also have the uh, PC Rainbow that's just at the back there, which like I said, is coloring up as well. So that's why I don't know, I'm a bit unsure about this Pikachu, what's going on, to be honest. Um, then we have the plate here. I might take this plate out, to be honest, guys, because it's actually blocked to all of the colour of the uh, the jack-o'-lantern. And to be fair, I'll do like the jack-o'-lantern more than that. So that might be an option that I'm going to be taking out soon. Uh, then we have the uh, Holy Grail that's doing fine. Squashed up against there. Might have to do some fragging of this, to be fair, so we don't lose any more heads. Then we come to the clams. And then we have the uh, chalice that's been a bit shaded out by this huge clam that just seems to grow and grow and grow. So yeah, it's uh, been shaded out there, but the colour on that is as always fantastic. Then we have the uh, scholar. We have this monstrous, uh, I think it's got to be about at least 80 heads, 80 heads on that at least of this. And the, uh, the mushrooms, sunkist mushrooms that are doing well. Then the chalices, we have the Jingle Bell Sophastrio, uh, the Duncans, and then we also have the Hammer and the Frog Spawn, and then the uh, Raja that I'm absolutely loving, and it's just growing by the day, and it's actually now beginning to turn into like a little bowl, as you can see, which is fantastic, so can't wait to see that grow on. 
and hopefully in the new system it'll grow even uh, better and then we just have the uh, zoas and like i said the bubble coral um at the back so yeah so overall guys like i've said before tank's doing really good other than the uh the pikachu but like i said we're not going to change anything just because of that it's just one of those things but fingers crossed it'll turn around i think it might just be because i raised calcium hopefully um i might have to do an icp test send one of them off just to to get it checked out but like i said everything else in the system is doing well so it just seems strange to me let me know in the comments what you think it could be but yeah for now guys i appreciate you uh following hopefully you enjoyed this video like i said click click the like the thumbs up leave a comment below i always get try to get back to every single one of you guys and yeah join us on the friday night live streams if you want to uh we always do it myself um paul um from fish palace jay's real reef and then we have um, tom from tb coddles and then ross the bearded reef can join us when he can join us so yeah hopefully you uh, you come over and check us out check us out on our instagram and until next time guys i really appreciate it so take care now cheers